And we're back. <laughs> After the embarrassing death that was my last playthrough, we can hopefully avoid not saving this time. You know, I said it out loud and I realize you're probably going to forget to save again, aren't you? Oh well. So anyway, our last count, I think including the ones I came across on level 1. Get out of here. Came in, or not level 1. Uh, no, actually, I think I started keeping count of them when I got past level 3. Of the jack in the boxes was 11. There we go. So I believe we're going to come across those same 11, because it looks like the level layout is pretty much the same. I guess it locked in the, um, the game locked in the level layouts long before I start, or I should say long before I reach this level. Yeah, here. So it just means we get to have the fun of redoing the Garb at the Week quest. Which I actually found something out about that one. It's not actually time-based. It is, you've got to basically get one screen away, one in-game screen length away from him, and then he will have something new to say. So that means once we come across him, we can go back around and, um, okay, we need that to get our town portal spell. But it means we basically get to faff around the level while we're waiting on him to do that. Smack. Alright, that's two. Alright. So I counted two. Okay. Let's see if there's anything I missed in that room since I didn't completely explore it. Oh, apparently I did miss somebody. Huh. Oh. I guess I missed a couple guys when on the last playthrough of the level. Give me that staff. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. I miss having that alt button. I really do. And if you guys have played Diablo 2, you know what I'm talking about. Did I miss something? No. Having the alt button so you know you could see what all was on the ground. I know the first game, or not the first game, the expansion for this game added a reveal spell and you might get around to playing that. I don't know. Ow. Get out of here. Alright, looks like we've got just enough room for another armor or a couple serpents. Or clubs. Anyway, we may or may not get around to that one. I haven't decided yet. Okay, let's make sure we didn't miss anybody over here. Better get our dexterity up. Uh, since we're using an axe, that's part of the reason why I got hurt so bad. Armor class 23 is okay for the upper levels, and once you start getting to level 5 plus, you're going to need all the armor you can get. So they start throwing spells at you, and then... Missed. Alright, so we're down to two. Jack in the box so far. Alright. guys couldn't resist, could you? Mob that. So we're just gonna hold down the... We're just gonna hold down the shift key, because that enables me to strike repeatedly. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Uh... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to drop that because we're selling that book. Alright. First off, let's smack these guys down. Now I know what that is. 
if I'm right, these items are going to be the same as last time, so... Please! No hurt, no kill! Keep alive, and next time good bring to you! Alright. You know he's just going to try and knife me, right? Don't use mana potions or healing potions like an idiot. Go to the healer and heal. <sighs> what ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I can... You know, I could technically use that if I really wanted to. Because if I remember right, spell books do... Oh no, they don't. Well, they're just one big source of income, that's okay. Just means we got a nice, neat fire spell spell, although I'm not going to have the mana to use it. Oh hey, I can use it once! <laughs> oh, that'll definitely be handy later. Yeah, I can use it all at one time, and then I... Uh... Stay for a moment. Oh. I have a story you might find interesting. That's right. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, what can I do for you? You gotta admit. Granted, I know some people said that a lot of these quests were lackluster and the like. I've read some of the old reviews. People complain that the quests were often lackluster and didn't seem to have too much in the way of... I guess the best way to describe it is uniqueness. But, for what they did, and I was wrong about the number of quests, counting Hellfire ones, there's, um, I believe, 22 or 23, not 25. But, they did a good job of what they had. I sense a soul in search of answers. They did a really good job for what they had. Right, let's see if they got the book. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. They do not have the book of Town Portal. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you can only carry 5,000 gold pieces in one of those. You ain't got no stash. Yeah, we'll just save it. And we'll go visit Pevin one more time. Get another full healing potion. I know I got a couple in my inventory. What ails you, my friend? Healing potions in my inventory, but it never hurts to have too many of these. Okay, get my inventory reorganized real quick. Okay, that's right. Okay, so. Thank you. There's that shrine. <laughs> okay. Just remember, you can't wander into your own firewall because it will kill you. That was kind of nice. I might pump a little bit more in my magic, but I can't pump too much because I am going to need dexterity. You missed. But it'll be good for those horde rooms. Like, they're just bloody full of things. 
there we go. Okay, before I hit that room up, we're gonna go talk to Garbag, because I believe we got far enough away from him that he's gonna have something for us. Something for you, I am making. Again, not kill Garbad. Live and give good. Okay. You'll take this as proof I keep wearing. He didn't drop a claymore last time, he dropped a helmet. That's okay. That one actually might be better than my cleaver, just it may not give me the strength boost. I didn't actually repair that the last time I was in town either. Yeah, get out of here. Alright. Well, let's clear these uglies out. Okay. So, we're down to two... Yeah, we're down to two town portal scrolls. You know, I really gotta learn to stand the doorways. Okay, first, we take everything out again. Nope, 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 don't click on the shrine just yet. <laughs> Drop some gold. Bound least expected. You yeah, always keep an eye out for those spiritual shrines because you don't quite know. But always make sure to clear your inventory out before you hit the spiritual shrines because you will be grateful for all this gold later. Well, if I remember right, the magic rock quest also leads to Arcane's Valor, but I'm not entirely sure. Which is a very nice unique armor and will serve you well through most of the game. You'll probably have to upgrade once you hit hell, but even then, sometimes I don't, sometimes I just keep the armor because of all the trouble I went through to get it. All right. And looky there. Lots of gold. The coin that makes the world go round in this game. Actually, I think that could be said of any game, game like this. It's got a currency. Makes the world go round. Keeps you alive. And here we go. Nothing yet. Almost done. Very powerful. Very strong. Live. Nothing yet. Almost done. <laughs> There you go. I know I just did that, but I didn't finish out. Live, live, no pain, and promise I keep. Uh, oh, barrels. So we're down to. Yeah, we're up to two jack in the two, three jack in the boxes. Oh yeah, we're down to we're up to three now. All right. Get lost. You know, usually there's something in here. There's usually something in rooms like those, and there wasn't nothing in there this time. All right. This too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. Oh, uh uh. I ain't dying. Today. I'm not impressed. Okay, he did drop the mace last time, though. Too much baggage. All right. Guess it's time to take the dreaded trip back to town. All right. All 
Yeah, warriors are non-magic classes, but as much as I hate to say it, you do benefit a little bit from having a couple spells. Hello, my Hello. friend. Stay a while and listen. Mace of the Leech. Oh. Well, shit. Let's see. Five to sixteen. I'm not going to be doing as much damage, but I have a much higher chance to hit. Uh, decisions, decisions. Well, be doing consistent damp, more consistent damage, but I need stuff to just die when I hit it. <sighs> yeah, we'll drop that for now. Well, what can I do for you? All right. I right, see what you got equipment wise. Axe of Naming, Fine Spiked Club, Bow of the Sky, Axe of the Back. Well, let's go see if Adria has that Town Portal book. She may or... and if she doesn't, I might just buy go buy that ring so I can actually hit what I'm swinging at. I sense a soul in search of answers. <sighs> Book of Lightning. I mean, that's always a nice one, but, uh, shit. Well, repair, check what he's got in mundane items, get some better equipment, or I should say better armor. Repair my gear, and then get a move on. What I can might I do just for you? One. My basic items, what do you got? Play more. Yeah, okay. Buy premium items. We'll take your steel ring. You know, I might. There we go. I might go purchase that, um. Book of Lightning. Just again options and lightning travels in a continuous line so if worse comes to worse and I absolutely need to throw or thin a horde I can just throw a few lightning bolts at them and then chop them down I sense chop the rest a soul out of my in axe. search of answers all right the problem is that also puts another um, another bit of a strain on my resources because I'm already having to manage health Which is one of the main reasons I usually don't. I saw one scroll town portal. Okay, so I, it's a mana ten. So I've got enough for oh, two lightning bolts. Yeah. So we're gonna try and get our dexterity up just to get our armor class improved. I might, after a couple levels, put five points into magic just because a little bit of extra mana. What ails you, my friend? Well, by there. This way we have 12 full healing potions, two, two full mana potions, a partial mana, and then, yeah, a potion of rejuvenation, which will come in handy later on. So we're up to three jack in the boxes. Four. Yeah, you're Full healing. There we go. We're hitting targets a little more consistently now. It's not a hundred percent. But it's better than nothing. Ah, oh, shit. 
Conga line! Come on! Come on, form a conga line. There we go. Our dexterity up. Armor class 24. to make a premature trip to town. Alright, look at that. Let's scroll to import it. It'll be alright. It's only when it starts hitting red that I'm going to have problems. I'll probably push it until it hits about 3-4 durability. I love it. I love when the generator just does this. The door right there, and then you got this right here. <laughs> Gotta love those random generators. Just, you see those odd layouts every once in a while. All right. There's five. Star. No. Okay, looks like that was counting last level two. Take heed and bear witness so it looks like we got a total of five jack-in-the-boxes on this level only. the only. last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high right heavens there. and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. Well, there is some good news. It looks like we've got the entire level cleared out. So. Alright, dummy. Now remember. Saving is a good thing. So we save. And now... We can put potions, let's see if we have just enough for one, but... You know, technically, if it is the same, I would have started out next to the entrance of town, but... Uh, yeah, I really don't have an excuse for that. Well, what can I do for you? Repair items, skull clamp, leather armor, butcher's clear. Okay. Hello, my friend. Item. Stay a while and listen. That's going to be worth a bit. If it wasn't for the fact I know oh, later in the game those you? aren't going to be as useful, I'd be using a blunt weapon. Alright, bow of zest, bow of vitamite, ring of vim. Oh, I could use that right about now. It's alright. You know, my skull cap and stuff, they're just gonna have to do. What ails you, my friend? Alright. Doesn't look like we've had to use much in the way of healing potions. So, first things first. 
go visit the bitch. Now you watch. She's gonna have that Book of Town portal. I sense a soul in search of answers. Buy a potion of full mana. We're just gonna buy a couple, one, a couple of those. Close enough. Now, if I absolutely need to escape, I got that. I got a, I have a partial rejuvenation potion, so all I gotta do is hit my eight button. Swap that around to one. I'll hit my one button and then get the hell out of there. So let's find the magic rock. The smell of death surrounds me. The shrine does. There we go. We're gonna go to town. All right, down the catacombs. I've had enough of you. This is where archers also start to come to the That hurts. All right. Yep. Clear. Okay. Go. <sighs> oh, it took me cheesing a spell or two to actually win a fight. But hey, came out on top. Mostly. Probably should have gone check to see if she had that book. Ah, well. All right, we're trying. Here we go. Alright. First, now we're past all that. Let's save. Second. Weird Shrine, Weird Shrine, Weird Shrine. What does the Weird Shrine do? Ugh. I think it does something really weird, but... I know, that's in the name, isn't it? Alright. What does that do? Alright, the Weird Shrine... It will... Plus one to max damage of all weapons in inventory. So that means we'll go from 1 to 24, or 4 to 24, to 4 to 25. Step save, again. Yep. Partially resupply, I guess. No. Right, so invest more into vitality, and there we go. I hope that hard leather actually does something and doesn't just. Oh, you, you're kidding.
Okay. Well, I was actually hoping that would do something useful. I still want to know what that does, because it may give me a bit of an advantage that I need right now. And since we're already close to the entrance, I need to restock my full healing potions, and then we can head back down. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay, I will take that. 18 more hit points. Well, what can I do for you? Well, I'm just going to sell the rest of that. Yeah, keep in mind, Light Radius, I think I've said this before, but that attracts monsters. It doesn't really give you any kind of advantage. Or I should say, you can see further, but that's a... But it's kind of a double, um, double-bladed sword. At least this is how I think detection works in this game. I could be I wrong. Sense a soul in search of All answers. right. Fireball. Yeah, how much? I'm willing to bet you anything. That's. No, we're gonna buy another one of those. Okay, I know I have these scrolls of healings, but I'd rather not use those unless I have to. Oh, whoops. Two full mana potions. I sense a soul in search of answers. Cause those um that firewall spells kind of a panic button. As you saw. Now I remember for a while there was this I don't know what I was thinking, why I suddenly thought about it, but for a while, there was this, I think it got patched, but there was this bug that if you split your gold up into each of these individual grids, you could get 5,000 gold apiece. Now granted, what ails much, you, my friend? wasn't much of an advantage. I mean, you get some equipment you otherwise wouldn't be able to have, but you didn't guarantee any kind of levels, it just made you exploit the game. Now that the uh, it basically did duplicate the effects of a uh, spiritual shrine only on a much grander scale. Yeah. Okay, so we oh. Oh look, six jack in the boxes. You lose. Yeah, we're going to have to keep on our toes now, because we only have 136 life. Oh, that hurts. The only problem with playing the warrior, if you decide to start using spells like that, Another hit. Your firewalls, as I've said, will damage you. Shadow Beast. You know, I could cast that a little better. Hey, look, level up. I think it also depends on which way the um, critters want to react. There we go. Armor class 24. Okay. Smack. Another issue is that 
Unlike in the, um... Unlike in the Cathedral where, yes, it was random, but it could still be technically considered fairly uniform. The catacombs seem a little more haphazard when you play through. There's a lot less in the way of choke points. There's more open areas. Not as bad as, say, the caves or hell, but uh, it can get pretty bad. Okay. There's one down. Show that. We gotta throw up a lightning bolt. Hey, we got a total of 30 mana. Woohoo! 148 life. So let's go find that rock. Four to twelve. I thought I said twenty-two for a minute. <clears throat> Large chest we missed. Ow. Traps seem a lot more common down here too. So It's a spike trap, not a... I'll get out of here. <laughs> you know, that better not be the halls of the chest. Okay. Purifying Shrine. Uh, I think that's the one that grants introversion. Oh, look. Uh, I think that makes seven. Check the boxes. That's right. Not enough mana. Minus 22. <laughs> How'd I get in the negatives? Oh, I cast it twice. Yeah, there's this little thing where if you happen to... What's the word I'm looking for? Closet bow. If you happen to cast a spell before your mana's gone down, you cast it twice. It's a glitch. Oh, hey, look at that. A purifying shrine regenerates mana. One click at a time. But anyway, it's a glitch where you can cast a spell multiple times, but it will send you into the negatives for your mana reserves. Neat little exploit, but it's sometimes more trouble than it's worth. Okay, so that stupid rock should have been down here. Oh. There's a door I haven't gone through yet. You know, I should probably save. Because I'm too lazy to leg it back to the... There we go. I've got three of them, so I'll be okay. You know what, I can drop that for now. 
I know it's more room, but I just want to get all the magical shit before I start selling the um the non-magical stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right. No, at least we got something useful out of it. Well, what can I do for you? All right, repair items. Amazing. Here, what do you got for premium, bud? Bow of Vim, bow, Ring of Vim. <sighs> I could really use that. Just cause that is a very, very powerful ring. Plus 14 to vitality. That actually is a lot. I sense a soul in search of answers. So items. Yeah, I'm not gonna get what I want out of that. Let me go for buying items. Oh, you bitch. All right. Yep. And I'm not going to have the mana to use it. Oh, well. Just means... Yeah, we'll do that next level. Put about five more points into magic and that should do it. What ails you, my friend? If I remember right, the warrior's magic only goes up to like... 45? Because him and the sorcerer are basically reverses. His strength goes up to either 250 or 255, and his magic only goes up to like 45, whereas, his, whereas the sorcerer's strength goes up to 45, but his magic goes up to 255. I mean, every class has their key stat maxed out of that, so... Eh, shut up. You lose. Well, I'm not quite close to getting my level yet. I right, a chest. Large shield. Yep. <clears throat> Sooner or later, unless I can get my dex get my dexterity up to the point where I'm not constantly getting wailed on, I'm gonna have to start switching over to a sword and shield. Where is that rock at? As much as I like the item you get from this quest, this has got to be one of the worst parts. Because you can very easily miss it if you're going through and just knocking everything a new one. Yeah. Knocking everything down. <sighs> I apparently can't talk tonight. Oh, look. And a, um, a pentagon. Or, not pentagon, pentagram. Alright. <sighs> Where are you at? That rock's usually on level 5. And if it's not on level 5, it looks like I'm going down to level 6.
I think on this. If I remember right. Okay. Yeah, it's on level 5 somewhere. I'm starting to think it might actually be back in the starting room somewhere. There it is. This must be what Griswold wanted. Well, there's the magic rock. And listen, let me see that. There we go. Aye, aye, it is as I believed. Give me a moment. Ah, here so, we are. I arranged pieces of the stone within a silver ring that my father left me. Ah, oh, I hope it serves you well. Well, having plus 10 of all my resistances is nice. The Imperium Band, I believe, grants Infravision and. Hello, my friend. Gives me plus Stay two to all treatments. Listen. Oh no, light radius. And fast hit recovery, which we're going to need. Alright. So that's going to bring up our hit points to an impressive 142. Without it, rather than the truth. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not an impressive, as impressive as I thought. But it is going to increase our to hit. So we're going to see how we perform without this. And if necessary, we can... No, don't you dare. And if necessary, we can what you, always my switch back. So, now that we've completed this quest, we're going to go talk to Adria. And we'll have to see if we, come, if we run into a third quest. I sense a soul in search of answers. All right. I'll buy two potions of full mana. And there we go. I should sell this crap while I'm at it. Well, what can I do for you? I'll repair. There we go. And it looks like I still got all the crap from last time. My basic items, hard leather armor. It's alright. Might have to start upping our strength too. Our strength, our dexterity. Vitality is always nice. Might bump up magic another five points this next level, then I'm gonna focus the rest on vitality, dexterity, and strength. Cause gonna need it by the end. Anyway. <clears throat> Problem is I'm probably gonna end up spending more on mana potions unless I'm willing to spend gold to get another 
before you wander in, save. I didn't expect this. Looks like we're off to a better... Nope, I'm not following you down there. I'm not going up here. Oh, get lost. go. Come on. Uh-huh. I'm not chasing you down there. No. We have this conversation. Come here. I wonder if scrolls of healing are entirely dependent upon your I genuinely do. Come on. There we go. Much I don't like. Okay, well, I get book of telekinesis. I can't use that, so guess what? Okay, this is probably all the higher arm magic's gonna go. Okay, so we have just enough even without the Empyrean Band to cast out the portal. Okay. We now have a level 2 lightning spell. And it's going to be 9 mana. Okay, I might start using that more. I think lightning is one of those spells that costs less and less the more uh, levels you put into it. A great axe. And I'm not going to have the strength to wield it. Yep. I'm going to have to start putting more points in the strength when I want to wield those axes. Okay. So first off, let's check out this mythical book. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Huh. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. All right. Whoa. So let's figure out where this chamber is. Oh, full. Oh. <laughs> oh, they went through the other door. 
And of course I don't have any more. Alright. <sighs> well, it looks like I may have to start changing tactics because... While I praise the cleaver, and it usually works throughout a portion of this section too, it's starting to look more and more like I'm going to have to switch to tactics or... Or not. Yeah, I just said that. I'm going to have to change out my weapons or I'm going to have to... Nope, you're not getting me. Hey look, it's the butcher's little brother. that's what that guy was. That guy I killed. I wonder if he was a, um, miller. Alright. Okay, let's figure out where the Chamber of Bone is. First, we're gonna have to resupply. I don't have a choice. Okay. Last scroll town portal, last... Wow, what can I do for you? Alright, I'm on Jaguar, the butcher's clear. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Nice. Vicious Axe, oh. And I don't even have close to what I need in strength to use it. Whoa, what can I do for you? Alright. Alright, buy premium items. Sword of Power, Ring of... Axe of Vim. You know, at this point, we're gonna need more health. Because I am taking far, far too much damage to, to be really all that comfortable with it. And guess what? We got even more life now. All right, here I we go. sense a soul in search of answers. Scroll Guardian. No. Book of Telekinesis. We got. Twenty-five hundred, and you purchase from me for six hundred twenty-five. Nice. <clears throat> what ails you, my friend? Let's try this again without minimizing it by accident. Yeah, I hit the Windows key right in the middle of that fight, and I thought I'd, um. Oh. Bull. And I thought I got mana potions burned. Okay. We're gonna have to fudge this fight. We're definitely going to have to fudge this fight. Archer's got to go. Alright, fall back to the door. 
because I'm not getting mugged. Okay, I'm not close enough to the door because they get past me. I like how I can almost always scout, scout just enough. Oh, actually, not enough to really make a difference. One of the best things about the catacombs, you almost always seem to be able to find those healing potions. Or mana potions. You know, just enough to keep you in the fight, but not enough you can really hold it together. Looky there, we got another level. Armor class 25. Nice. might be a good spell to learn at some point. No. No, we're getting out of here. <sighs> okay, I gotta find that chamber of bone. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Celestial Star. And Amulet Zest. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah, no. As nice as that would be to have. <laughs> I mean, if I was a, um. Like a sorcerer or something, I'd probably use that. Well, what can I do for Maybe you? It would knock down my defense, but sword of power, soldier's hammer. You don't want me all these blunt weapons. Hell. All right, let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, one point of difference. Well, what can I do for you? Okay, get some healing, get some healing potions, lots of them. What ails you, my friend? 
usually most of the playthroughs I have around eight to ten full healing potions are enough for a single jaunt like just enough we have 12 here no actually we're at 13 we have a total of 13 usually around eight to ten got eight in the belt two backups in case you need them are usually enough to keep me running but it also depends on how the generator works. I sense a soul in search of answers. All right. I bought there because I am making far, far more use of that I firewall spell than I thought. I sense a soul in search of answers. It's also looking more and more like whether I like it or not, I'm gonna have to stop using this axe. I like the damage, I like how quickly I can kill stuff, but it's finally getting to that point where it isn't sustainable anymore. So I think my next jaunt up here, I'll be replacing that axe. And then I'm probably going to Yes, I know these guys are resistant to fire. But that's a little more damage, right? All right, it's a little more damage I can throw their way. Don't stand in the fire, dummy. There we go. You know what? You're not wandering in there to get your friends. Come here. Yeah, I didn't cast that spell, right? Oh. Okay. Well, that's in the hurt. sure what that ring does. Oh, I don't know what the quiet shrine does, so we're gonna find out. Alright. <sighs> quiet shrine Okay, is oh. oops. The quiet shrine adds plus two to the vitality, which we can always use. So first, save, and now we have a vitality of forty-two, which is definitely going to help us. Closet staff. We'll identify that later. I'm not. Yeah, I think we've had like six or seven jack in the boxes. I don't think we're gonna get them anymore. Maybe some archers here and there, but I haven't seen any skeletons this level. Yeah, I don't think we're hitting them anymore. Come on! That's another one gone. Still have a scroll town portal. Okay. Let's go try to do weird stuff. 
and I want to get the chamber of bone found. Oh, thought you were being sneaky, huh? Come here. I don't think I don't see you two back there either. Chamber of Bone is definitely interesting. Horror Captain. It's mainly undead type enemies. Those, ain't, those unseen will take a chunk out of you if you let them. The good news is this is always good for magic items. Hey, you missed, pal. Did I get them all? Alright, looks like I got all the ones out here anyways. I'll restock on mana. Let's scroll the healing. Normally I go see what the townsfolk have to say on it, but... Uh, that was probably a bad idea to move out of that doorway. If I stand right here, so long as they don't decide to move past me. That room's clear. No? <laughs> run, run. Come on. Twenty-seven. Gonna have to start pumping too much baggage. Points in the strength, whether I want to or not. Because guess what? Oh yeah, we're definitely um definitely gonna have to repair because my axe is in the red. That armor class twenty-seven should hopefully help our situation some. So we might get to keep using the clear. Whoa, what can I do for you? Now we're going to go ahead and talk to the... Ah, no, nothing in this place. But you may try asking Kane. He talks about many things. And we're not surprised maybe he had some answers to your question. Hello, my friend. A book that speaks of a chamber of human bones? Well, a chamber of bone is mentioned in certain archaic writings that I studied in huh. the libraries of the East. These tomes inferred that when the lords of the underworld desired to protect great treasures, they would create nice. domains where those who died in the attempt to steal that treasure would be forever bound to defend it. A twisted but strangely fitting end. Yeah, I guess. All right. Oh, you all just had to give me that one. This ring is the biggest double-edged sword in the game. Max resistances, which means whatever magic people throw at you, and it's gonna bounce right off, but you will cons consistently lose hit points. I 
I may just keep this one because it's going to come in handy. And I mean, it is going to come in handy later, but it's going to have to be a weapon or something. Whoa, yeah, what can I do for you? Yeah, we'll call it a weapon. It's going to have to be something I use very sparingly. Oh, plenty. Brutal axe. Alright, buy basic items. Hard leather armor. Okay. Let's go sell this thing, and then we're going to go take... Get some more mana potions. Buy another scroll of town portal. Because there's going to come a time where we need it. And then we'll finish up this quest. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, that's going to be... <laughs> that ring is definitely going to come in handy, but I'm going to hate it. Because the enemies in, that, in the lower levels are already lethal enough. I never, I never, I never once expected to. Greetings, good master. Hello. Welcome. I'm afraid that I don't know anything about that, good master. Kane has many books that may be of some help. You know, I should probably go talk to the rest of the townsfolk, but I'm being lazy. I want to get this quest finished. All right, let's finish clearing these jokers out. Now you get a lot of good shit from this quest. Oh, you get lost. Come here. I need a dexterity of at least 50 or 55. Because it looks like now that we're getting up into the mid-40s, they're having a slightly harder time hitting us. This is the first time you get the Guardian spell. There we go. But you will not be able to use it. I'll show you. Yeah, 50 mana. Just shy of it. And, let's be honest. It's... You don't get any more books for that. At least I don't think. But, if you happen to have the mana for it, that is a very nice spell, because it basically allows you to summon what amounts to a Hydra. Oh, why are you doing that? We might gain one more level while we're in here. Anyway, those levers open up, um... Come here. The levers open up these side chambers. Which gets you, um, gets you those nice items. Uh, Get lost. Uh, I am not in a mood. I mean, you gotta teach them a lesson. They don't know how to respect, they don't know how to respect people's property. So you give them a good hard smack with the axe, and then they learn. I'm about to buy healing potions anyway when I get back to town. Magic foil. Too much baggage. Yep. Alright. I gotta buy more mana potions anyway. Hell with it. 
I got these two scrolls as backups. There we go. Never did sell that staff, did I? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Nice. All right. Well, what can I do for you? Go, pair of items. Pearl staff of the bear is not getting repaired, it is getting sold. All right. I sense a soul in search of answers. All right, and we are going to go ahead and go pick up those items just to see if there's anything useful that we might keep. Granted, I didn't really see much in the way of equipment that we were picking up. I'm hoping to eventually get things like ring mail. Rather, not that much of a step up from the leather armors, but they're at least a step in the right direction. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Alright, we didn't get anything really good. Well, what can I do for you? Buy premium items. Well, it looks like it's all the same stuff from last time. Okay. Well, I do apologize for the um, bit of a skip. And because I hit the Windows key when I was recording earlier, so, um, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, I, the video link's a little longer than what I would usually do, but I got three quests out of the way instead of two, so, save, and you have a nice rest of the night.